The James Webb Space Telescope has once again captivated us with its breathtaking images from the depths of space, shedding light on the mysteries of our solar system and providing a glimpse into the distant exoplanets orbiting stars far beyond our own. Today we are in a treat as we will explore a dazzling cosmic neighborhood located an astounding 210,000 light years away, now revealed in unprecedented detail like never before. In this most recent awe-inspiring image shared by the James Webb Space Telescope, we will look at NGC 346, a lively stellar nursery cradled in the small Magellanic Cloud, SMC, a companion galaxy to our Milky Way. With this video, we will uncover the mysterious stories that this celestial wonder has to offer. In the captivating picture, the James Webb Space Telescope has depicted NGC 346 in vibrant colors, each telling its tale of the cosmos. Blue shows silicates and specific chemical molecules called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. The red glow comes from warm dust heated by the intensely bright and massive stars at the region's core. Bright areas and thread-like structures indicate regions rich in protostars. In technical terms, this image combines light at different wavelengths, 7.7 .7 micron, blue, 10 microns, cyan, 11.3 microns, green, 15 microns, yellow, and 21 microns, red. There is also a noticeable arc in the center left, possibly reflecting light from a central star. Other arcs are faintly visible near stars on the lower left and upper right. Researchers now have an unparalleled view into the genesis of stars and the universe's infancy, thanks to a fresh image from the James Webb Space Telescope. This image reveals a nascent star cluster, dubbed NGC 346, situated over 200,000 light years away from our planet. It's no surprise that the universe's wonders shine with a brilliance that reshapes our very understanding of beauty. With our advanced technology and the unparalleled capabilities of this new space telescope, we're not just exploring distant corners of the universe, but also gaining deeper insights into the celestial entities right in our cosmic backyard. NGC 346 resides in the Small Magellanic Cloud, SMC, a mini-galaxy neighboring the Milky Way. The SMC is visible even without telescopic help from the southern constellation Tucana. Interestingly, the SMC contains fewer heavy elements, often referred to by astronomers as metals, than our home galaxy. The SMC spans a region of the sky roughly 7,000 light years in diameter. Within this expanse, NGC 346 stands out as one of its most vibrant and dynamic star forming regions. Stars, over vast stretches of time, serve as cosmic vessels creating heavy metals and then dispersing them into their immediate neighborhoods through grand celestial events like nuclear fusion and supernovae. The cosmic dust originates from these heavy elements. Earlier, astronomers anticipated minimal presence of such dust in NGC 346. Contrary to expectations, recent imagery reveals a substantial dust presence in the area, as highlighted by the team behind the James Webb Space Telescope. What drew astronomers to study this particular area was its mysterious resemblance to ancient galaxies. The metal content and conditions in the SMC mirror those in galaxies from billions of years ago, specifically during the cosmic noon, when the universe witnessed star formation at its peak. This cosmic rise, which took place around 2 to 3 billion years post-Big Bang, has significantly influenced the formation and characteristics of present-day galaxies. A galaxy during cosmic noon wouldn't have one NGC 346, as the small Magellanic Cloud does. It would have thousands, said Margaret Meixner, an astronomer at the University's Space Research Association and principal investigator of the research team. Even if NGC 346 is now the only massive cluster furiously forming stars in its galaxy, it offers us a great opportunity to probe the conditions at cosmic noon. Hubble's images primarily showcased the prominent features of the region, with stars glittering like diamonds against a dark shadow. However, the Miri has lightened previously unseen aspects, highlighting cool gas, dust emissions, and a staggering 1001 luminous dots, most of which are young stars captured in delicate dust. While arcs and reflections were sometimes faint or obscure in previous Hubble images, the Miri has sharpened these features as well. 
By integrating data from both the near-infrared and mid-infrared spectrums, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers can conduct a more comprehensive survey of the stars and protostars residing in this vibrant area. Researchers are keenly interested in understanding how the star formation process in areas with scarce heavy elements might vary compared to regions abundant in heavy elements, like our Milky Way. The near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, on the James Webb Space Telescope is proving to be an invaluable tool in this quest, offering unprecedented resolution that allows scientists to observe and study even the smallest and youngest of stars, which were previously beyond the observational capabilities of older telescopes. With James Webb Space Telescope, we can probe down to lighter weight protostars, as small as one-tenth of our sun, to see if their formation process is affected by the lower metal content, said Olivia Jones, a co-investigator on the program. James Webb's Space Telescope also enabled them to see dust in the accretion disk of protostars in the SMC for the first time. That means there is potential for forming rocky planets rather than just stars and gas giants. We're seeing the building blocks, not only of stars, but also potentially of planets, said co-investigator Guido De Marchi. And since the small Magellanic Cloud has a similar environment to galaxies during cosmic noon, it's possible that rocky planets could have formed earlier in the universe than we might have thought. The research team is diligently examining the wealth of data gathered, incorporating a detailed spectroscopic analysis to shed light on the precise chemical composition of the material surrounding the protostars. In the NIRCOM image, the vibrant pink hues represent hot, activated hydrogen, whereas the orange tones, particularly noticeable in the top left, signify cold, compact molecular hydrogen. This latter form of hydrogen provides an ideal environment for the birth and growth of stars. As these stars develop, they actively transform the surrounding nebula, wearing away at the gas and creating the intricate patterns of ridges and ripples observed across the star cluster. The James Webb Space Telescope stands as the foremost space science observatory on a global scale, playing a crucial role in expanding our understanding of the universe. NGC 346 is a perfect example of the telescope's ability to shed light on the universe's deep secrets. It reminds us of the amazing things out in the universe and our never-ending curiosity. With the James Webb Space Telescope set for a decade-long journey, we can expect more stellar revelations. We are merely at the dawn of this celestial expedition, with countless space complexities waiting. Do you believe the evolving dynamics of celestial bodies like the NGC 346 offer insights into the potential transformations of our own Milky Way? Drop your galactic feedback in the comments. If this video was a supernova hit for you, give it a meteoric thumbs up and blast off to that subscribe button. Hover a moment longer. Click the video on your screen for more universe unraveling tales.